two-way data binding achieve instancing in a web component. Welcome to Coding Locker, guys. This is Shankarshwari, and this is a practical playlist in what we are learning instancing. Everything we have done practically, we have seen how we create component, how we reuse that component in different application. We have seen about styling. We have seen different lifecycle methods, and today we'll see about two-way data binding. That means if I let's suppose this is the this is something name which is coming from outside of the component, right? So if I update anything here, it should be reflected in in some sort of text box. And if it is update, if user is updating in the text box, it should be reflected here as well. So that is what we call the two-way data binding. And how do we achieve an extensive? We'll see. In a minute so at first you have to of course go to this library and if you guys already following my playlist then you should be having the code and if not uh, not not an issue the code is already available at github location you can just directly clone and start from uh, this part as well okay so for that i'll have to make change in the main content and here i have to i should have some sort of uh, text box so let me add some sort of uh, uh maybe hashtag first of all just to differentiate then i want to do the two way data by just again sorry two way data binding and stencil right so let me create an input box input and type equals to text then uh, let me provide some sort of class as well uh, maybe my input text box then it should have some value so we already have some field which is the username so let's bind this username here so the way to buy how do we bind the dynamic value we have learned this is with this dot user name we already have at top level this dot username as a prop as a prop we have this right so let's bind this and save it perfect press ctrl s and come back to the browser and see do we have the check for the text box we have and see the coding locker added here and we have the value here as well okay so next is uh, if i update here it should be reflected here as well but before this let's provide some sort of uh, styling to my card.css and press enter and i already have some css so let me copy and paste that css as it is so that we don't waste much time on is not right now that much important this refresh even without the refresh we have some sort of beautiful text box here not that beautiful actually but at least better and then uh, we have to enable the two-way data binding now for that what you have to do you have to make use of a special method uh, which is on input here we are on input and in the on input you have to again dynamically call a method and we have learned how to be called uh, let's say we will create some method on user input and you have to call this method using this bind again we have seen and passes this parameter that is all you have to do now next is you have to uh, create this method on user input uh, just before the render method we can create or anywhere we can create so this is on user input and paste it here so this would by default expect the event right and yeah, this event now we, we have the event now from the event we have to fetch the value and set it in the variable so my variable is this dot user name right and how do i will set i will set event dot target dot value so you would see we do not have the dot value available with this so we have to do the casting the way we do the c sharp so event dot target and a special sort of casting is this is an html input element so we have cast that and provide the value control shift and f just for the formatting sake now this will be called on user input and it would update our username data so let's go back to the browser and refresh this time this time manually let me update stencil tutorial with practical examples to a data binding right so this is we wanted to achieve so that is all for uh, today's video thank you for uh, being at coding locker and please subscribe this coding locker this is something which gives me motivation to create more and more videos for you guys and if you guys have any query any untouched part which i have not touched for the stencil one please do let me know i'll be happy to uh, create the videos on that as well 
uh, have a nice day see you in the next part